After three weeks in self-isolation, one starts to think of the wider world and imagine oneself in, 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 in the times before the Industrial Revolution where no one could go anywhere beyond a couple of miles from the village or anywhere. Most people stayed and died within the uh, few miles of the territory unless they were uprooted and thrown out by invading armies or such. But this isolation gives you time to think about one's own community in a very uh, multicultural Canada specifically and in North America as to where do we as the, I'm talking about myself, as a member of the Muslim community, where do we lie in the story of life that's going on around the globe? And it occurs that we account for almost nothing. The, whether it's the transmission of the germs or the viruses, whether they traveled, we have absolutely no control. There is no one from Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, Indonesia, Bangladesh, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, you name it. From among a billion people, we have no one working, unless they are working in a non-Muslim environment, who can come up with anything. Of course, we haven't produced a needle in the last 400 years. And every time someone talked about science or rationality, whether it was Razi or whether it was uh, Averroes, Ibn Rushd or Ibn Sina, uh, they were discarded as blasphemers. And uh, in, the, in the case of the gentleman who crossed the river in Baghdad, you know, who screamed, I am the truth, people got beheaded. Even today, You've got institutes of nuclear science who make nuclear bombs in Pakistan. You have terrorists spread all over the world. But everything that we do or make or create or consume or reject is made by the very people that we seem or we are told are inferior to us. That we Muslims are the most splendid God's chosen people. And the rest of the people that we see with contempt, whether they are Jews or Hindus or, or Christians, Christians we of course don't look at them as Christians, we look at them as the West where we would like to live and contribute so little. In fact, the one place where we are contributing the most is the conspiracy theories and the random allegations as to who is responsible for what. Despite being highly educated in the United States and Canada, we still go and stand behind the mullahs who tell us that no, we are protected. We are Muslims. God will take care of us. This curse has come upon the non-Muslims, the kuffar. We got to stop it, man. This is too much. I'm just referring you to this book. It is about the world's poorest district, lowest literacy rate, lowest output, and it's in the heart of the Indian state uh, in the northern, northern India. Uh, it's a 100% Muslim district. The women's education Literacy ratio is only 2%. 2% of the women can read or write. They are put into burqas, bags, black cloth bags, and left to rot as child producing machines. And there's nobody talking about their rights. And all these feminists, these hijabi uh, members of Congress and Parliament to go about the Islamophobia industry, both here in Canada and America. They dare not ask for the saving of their own sisters from the oppression that we Muslim men impose on them.